Hey folks. So I had a fellow come in with two big boxes of toys. Uh, two boxes this size. There's my uh, vintage inspector here, Jake. And uh, anyway, uh, I went through them and pulled out basically a box's worth of toys. So this is what I've got and we'll go through them all right now. So other than toys, there was a couple uh, transistor radios, including this little Hitachi here, still in the box, which is really cool. Uh, now, this whole lot, by the way, I paid $275 for the whole shoot and match. Um, just worked out kind of what uh, was worthwhile to me. So anyway, here's the radio. It does have a little bit of a melt mark there. But not bad, not bad. So yeah, just neat being in the box. That's probably a, I don't know, a $30 radio maybe, something like that. Um, we'll have to see. Let's see, it's got its little hang tag there, which is kind of cool. Little TH601. So easy enough to check online. I did check it already. And like I said, I think it was about a $30, $35 radio. So not bad. Little 70s radio there. And we've got a Tonka station wagon, I guess, basically. It's a lot worse for wear, unfortunately. Uh, should clean up some. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother cleaning it up, really, because it is pretty pretty rough as it is. I do have a fellow that buys rougher toys for restoration, so that's probably a good candidate for him. And then I got a Coca-Cola truck, a Buddy L made in Japan. Uh, the neat thing about this one, unfortunately it is missing this here. Not sure what went there, but uh, it's got all its little, little, uh, or some of its little cases little coke bottle cases uh, and its little cart as well which is kind of cool that'll be the first thing that goes missing I'm sure um, I don't think it sits in here well maybe it does well maybe not I don't know we'll see oh yeah maybe it does there sits in here like that look at that oh maybe that's where it sits okay Anyway, Buddy L Coke truck, that's cool. That's $65, something like that. Uh, not not huge money. 40, well, 45 to 65 something like that. Um, and we got a Matchbox, I think. Yep, yeah, Matchbox Super Toys, the big, big uh, Dodge semi truck with its. Uh, B train trailer here. I think that's what they call them. B trains. The two, a double trailer like that's called a B train, I think. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, quit playing with the toys here. Just get them all out. And uh, then, got a uh, digital diamond baseball game. So still in the box which is cool haven't tested it I'll have to do that um, I think this one is about a 60 I don't know there was one I've got two digital games here one was only about $30 and one was about $65 so not bad um, I'll show you the second game here in a moment another little vintage electronics game the Sears Grand Prix. Now there's some variations on this particular game. This is this one is uh, a Sears version, but basically it has the car that just goes side to side, and then the track moves underneath it. So yeah, kind of cool. But uh, yeah, battery compartment's pretty clean, so that one probably works or it doesn't work and that's why it's so clean could be so there's that one 
there we go so there's that one sears grand prix uh this one i was hoping was worth a lot more than it was i did a check on it turns out they're about 25 dollars something like that it's a tonka snowmobile uh, this one's a Arctic Cat. It's missing a part of its decal as well. But uh, still, an El Tigre. So yeah, that's kind of neat. But unfortunately, that's not the model that's worth money. There's another TRX, I think it is, or something that's about a $65 US uh, toy. Whereas that one's, I think, $25, $30. Maybe, maybe. And then we got a true scale tractor, die cast tractor with steel wheels. A uh, little bit different, but missing a grill, unfortunately. So, still $25 to $30 tractor, maybe. Something like that. And then we got a, a remote control car. TRS-80. That's kind of neat. Uh, if you remember the computers that Radio Shack made, and this is a Radio Shack product, they've got TRS-80 on the side of their their uh, race car as well, and Tandy. But uh, yeah, TRS-80s were a uh, model of computer, actually, back in the oh, late 70s, early 80s. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that. Kind of a neat one that comes still with its instructions and there's a receipt in here you want to know how much that one cost one racing car for seventeen dollars and 95 cents so 1885 canadian is what it sold for so which was probably a fair bit in the oh in 1980 that's what it was from so just just past the 70s Still with the box. The box is probably the cooler thing about it. So that's kind of neat. But so uh, yeah, we got the antenna on it there, so we can't put the box lid on. And then we got a dinky wrecker or calmer. So dinky service wrecker. And then we got a VW Tonka VW. And surprisingly, they don't go for a lot of money. Um, this one's probably on, only going to get 15 or $20. So yeah, unfortunate, but that's what they're worth. So, got to go with that. Uh, and then we've got a really good toy, but it's really dirty. Needs a really good clean. Uh, it's a little beaver. So hopefully it's going to clean up nice. Because uh, I gave, or I, lo I allowed about 50 Canadian for it uh, it's worth about a hundred Canadian thereabouts in this condition maybe a hundred and a quarter or so um, it does have a bent little bit of a bent bumper back here but could be straightened out so hopefully that'll clean up that'll take me half hour to give it a good clean so but that's probably the Best toy, in my opinion, in the back, but there is others here which are still pretty cool. Um, we've got a kind of a VW type van, police department van. Yeah, VW there. Um, kind of rough condition. The front wheels have been put back in place, been modified and, and uh, fixed, I guess. But uh, still, it's a VW, so hopefully it'll it'll go. And this was another uh, another piece of Star Wars model kit unassembled. Some of the pieces are off the trees, not sealed, but uh, not a lot of value, unfortunately. But still, it's about a twenty-five dollar, maybe thirty dollar kit tops. So yeah, but still neat. Star Wars is always good, especially vintage. That's from 77, that one. And then we got Lego. Now these could be good. I'm going to have to do a bit of research on them, but that one's a tractor. And that one's just a building toy set, 88 piece set. So kind of a basic set, 
but uh, yeah so who knows don't know I'm gonna have to do some research on those it could be something decent but I don't know no not too sure about that one um, and we got another Tonka flat deck Tonka again needs needs a good clean it'll probably actually turn out not too bad once it's cleaned but very common um, not tons of value in there either but uh, about eight bucks maybe another maybe 20 bucks for the the thing after it's cleaned and then another a piece I was kind of disappointed in when I looked it up um, I haven't seen these but it's a Tonka forklift really kind of different I haven't seen forklifts before and this one's in really nice condition might be missing something here though I see but um, nice functioning not again I thought you know that's got to be a 65 75 dollar toy but apparently it's about half that it's about 30 35 dollars maybe 40 type thing not a big big ticket item unfortunately but still a neat neat Tonka piece but 70s or early 80s perhaps so yeah um, then we got a little a little Tonka tractor thing here don't know nothing too special about that um, then we got another probably Ertl diecast tractor in international yeah um i think it's Ertl or something yeah Ertl company but uh an international not sure what model that is but again probably a 25 30 30 dollar tractor or something like that so yeah got a lot of 30 dollar 40 dollar pieces here um oh. Uh, this just came by accident. I left it in the box by accident. Fred the fireman <laughs> shouldn't have been in there, but <clears throat> excuse me. And, and another little tin car. Uh, nothing special. Just a Japanese tin kind of jalopy type car or vintage car nothing special probably a $15 piece something I might just send through auction I suspect then we got a cool little Winnebago Tonka Winnebago just a little guy the bigger ones are the ones that are worth money but anyway still neat little Winnebago and then we got another box radio Playmate uh, just a beige one or brown one but boxed is neat so not a big dollar radio again probably 15 20 dollars something like that i suspect not a big ticket item i do have a couple neat ones coming up guys but <clears throat> um then we got a boxed greyhound bus so just a, a Greyhound bus bank. These are relatively common. I think they're 15, 15 bucks, something like that. So still kind of neat that it's got its box. Although the box is nothing. It's pretty bland. But still kind of neat stuff. Um, I got a McLeod's truck. So fairly heavily played with um kind of kind of a little bit slanted there i guess oh it bends back pretty easy but anyway that's yeah mcleods i'm gonna get the tape off there oh, there we go uh but yeah heavily played with but still it's there <clears throat> so we got that one <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, a couple other things that I didn't mean to end up getting, but a Snoopy guitar. Again, kind of rough. So, and Disneyland magazine.
terribly special there. And then last but not least, we got a couple other neat pieces. We got a really nice condition T6 um, Tonka dozer, or Tonka front end loader rather, not dozer. Uh, is missing the back hole. Normally these have a back hole on them that are, tend to go missing. But uh, yeah, so that's cool again. Unfortunately, probably only about a $35 toy. But still cool, still cool. And then last but not least, got a Structo hydraulic dump truck. So that's kind of cool. Should clean up. Uh, looks like it's been played with a bit. But um, let's see if the hydraulics work. Yeah, there we go. Hydraulics work good. So give it a clean up and that's probably once it's cleaned up, that's probably fifty, sixty-five dollars, something like that. Maybe a bit a bit more, I don't know. Not not counting on it. Cracked windshield. But still not too bad. So not a bad haul really. Um happy enough to get the stuff. So yeah, I'll make money. Um what do you think? What do you think? Two seventy five I paid for all of that. Am I gonna make money? <laughs> Did I should I have paid less or should I have paid more? I don't think I should have paid more, frankly. Um as it was I paid twenty five dollars more than I had initially planned, but uh I did want it to be worthwhile for both him and myself so anyway so that's what i got folks thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks